Sometimes you will be asked the question, uh, what is the solution to the system of linear equation? And only they will give you just a graph, right? Or they're going to have you graph it and tell them how many solutions is there. Well, let's see. If you look in here, right, this graph in here, these two lines are meeting only at one spot, right? If wherever the two lines meet, that is a solution to the system. Well, these two lines met over here, and then in how many places did they meet? At one place, right? That means it is only one solution. The trick, if you were to look at equations, right, and, um, and you didn't feel like graphing it, I would suggest to graph it, but if you don't feel like graphing it, you're going to look at it this way. If I look at these two lines, I always like to think about y equals mx plus b, right, when I see linear equations. b is the y-intercept. So I'm going to look where these two lines intercept the y-axis, where they cross the y-axis. Well, they cross it over here and over there. Is that y-intercept the same? Are they crossing the y-axis at the same point? Mm -mm. One of these equations crosses us in here, another one crosses us over there. So they have, they have to have different y-intercept, right? And there's one solution. So I know for one solution, they have to have different y-intercept, which is the b. Then, what else they have to have? Well, let's look at the slope, right? Because that's the other number that I usually look at. Um, they, one is positive, one is negative, right? And if they were to have exactly the same slope, they will never meet, right? Or they will be the same line. Well, if one of these two lines, right, if one of those slopes is little tilted, eventually they will meet. Or if one of those slopes is going down, they are meeting, right? So, and remember guys, please, slope is a rate of change, right? How is something changing? So, they, these two lines, for one solution, they have to have different slopes as well. So this is the another trick to it. So they have to have a different y-intercept and different slope, which is the n, right? If I was to give you an example of two equations, um, you will have, let's say, one equation that will be y equals 2x plus 1, and the other one can be y equals 3x minus 2 or plus 4. They have different slopes, different y-intercepts. Now let's look at no solution, right? Those are parallel lines. If you think about it, if I have parallel lines, they will never, ever, ever meet, right? And if they don't meet, they do not have a number, right? They do not have an ordered pair, right, that is in common. They will not meet. They will not cross nowhere, ever, ever, never, as long as they're parallel lines. But there's one thing to them. And these two lines, they have to have also two different y-intercepts. Because if they have the same y-intercept, they will be on top of each other. And they're meeting everywhere, literally everywhere. If they have different y-intercepts, they will never touch. So for here, no solution, because they do not meet, they do not intersect. So they still have a different y-intercept. Different y-intercept which is the B, right? Yet, they are, they have the same steepness, right? So they have to have the same slope. Which is the M. Example, um, Y equals 2X plus one, and Y equals 2X minus, let's say, 2. Same slope, different y-intercept, right? Same steepness, yet they both are crossing the y-axis at a different spot. 
The final one is infinitely many solutions. If I have infinitely many solutions, that means it's a one line and then the other line is identical to it. They literally are the same line. So what do they have the same? Well, let's see, if it's the same line, they have to have identical y-intercept, right? And if it's the same line, their slope, their rate of change has to be the same. So they have same y-intercept as well as same slope. They're the same line. Example, y equals um, 3x, let's say negative 3x plus 2, one equation, and the second equation has to be also negative 3x plus 2, because there's two lines. Imagine one green one, and on top of it, the second line, right, with the same equation. That's how they will look like. Um, let's look at a couple examples. If I look over here, or not, but if you can see it, same slope, different y-intercept, right? They have the same steepness, yet they will cross the y-axis at a different spot, right? Guys, please graph them and see if they are parallel. Parallel lines, right? They will not meet, but they will have different y-intercept. Sounds good? Now, if the slopes were different also, they're different lines, they have different steepness, different y-intercepts, they will cross, all right? 